to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you, of course, how I created this makeup look right here. I'm absolutely obsessed. I also wanted to just sit here for a second and apologize for my missed uploads. I know I missed two videos this week. And you know what? To be honest, sometimes you just have those weeks where you just don't feel it. You're just not into it and your mood is just like in a funk and I kind of was having that and I was in that mood and I was like, you know what, let me just feel it. Let me just get through it. That way I can sit back down and start filming again. I knew that it was just temporary and nothing major was really causing it. It was just kind of like one of those moods that I just didn't want to do absolutely anything and the last thing I wanted to do was sit down and try to convince myself to create a look and then get frustrated because the look didn't come out the way I wanted. So I took the time I needed to. I had a really nice reset. It felt really good to take a few days off but I am back now of course. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this look today. I'm so obsessed of course it has rhinestones because I've been obsessed with rhinestones you guys know but also I recently got a comment on one of my videos asking if I could start using some of the new P. Louise palettes that I recently got and thank goodness that when you guys commented that because I completely forgot about all those palettes like how could I forget so if you guys did not see my huge Black Friday haul I'm definitely gonna link it down below I did a huge purchase on P. Louise's website for Black Friday and basically we're gonna be using one of the palettes in today's video so the palette that I'm gonna be using of course course you guys know I have to use this one first this is the P Louise watch the Queen conquer palette this is what it looks like right here it is so gorgeous it is a dual sided palette so there's two palettes in here the first one is this one right here it has a really beautiful pinks and purple shades so gorgeous I am obsessed and then when you flip the palette over it has some beautiful greens khakis oranges really beautiful chartreuse shades and it's just such a stunning gorgeous literally breathtaking palette so this is the eyeshadow palette i used for today's video to create this really beautiful colorful fun look you guys know when you come to my channel you're gonna see something fun something colorful and definitely learn a thing or two so since we were using a brand new eyeshadow palette I also decided to incorporate a few new things in today's video as well so I'm gonna be using the new NARS light reflecting foundation again I'm also gonna be using the new KVD good apple concealer which I was very excited to use as well as this gorgeous palette this right here is the Danessa Myricks dewy cheek and lip palette so gorgeous like the colors in here are so beautiful and so vibrant i can't wait to show you guys how this works in today's video i also used the new rare beauty cream bronzer and a couple other things as well and i also did do my lips off camera i didn't show you guys what i was using so really quickly i just want to go over what i was using and i will show you guys up close shots so i went in with the anastasia beverly hills new lip liner this one right here is in the shade Cool Brown. And honestly, it's so similar to my usual lip liner that I use, which is from KKW in Nude Number 2. It's just a little bit more cool tone and a little bit deeper, but I love this color, you guys. It is so beautiful. I'm obsessed, so I went in with that. I went in with the Time Los Angeles Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sweet Tooth, which I will swatch right next to the lip liner so you guys can see what all of these look like and this was the first time i was using this liquid lipstick and to be honest i really enjoyed the formula and i loved the tone so it's a beautiful nude pink liquid lipstick now it was a little bit too pink for today's look so i did just apply a little bit of this sephora lip cream in number 32 which i like to use this lip cream in the center of my lips usually to kind of lighten up a lip color and i am obsessed it is so beautiful and this is what it looks like right here so really pretty so you guys can kind of tell just from the swatches that the liquid lipstick from sephora and the pinker one the two mixed together match made in heaven and that is what i'm wearing on my lips and then for gloss i went in with this morphe and madison beer gloss this was a limited edition gloss so i apologize you guys but i will go ahead and swatch it for you so there is the gloss right there and basically this is my lip combo so yeah girl it's not just a lip liner and a lipstick i use a lot of things when it comes to lip combos because i'm always changing it here and there but i did want to tell you guys what i was wearing on my lips so we're going to go ahead and jump in to today's video. Before we jump in, please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you guys have not already. And of course, without further ado, if you guys would like to see 
how I created this really pretty, fun, colorful look today, then just keep on watching. Alright you guys, so let's go ahead and get into today's voiceover. So we're going to be using the P. Louise Watch the Queen Conquer palettes. This is what one side looks like, the other side looks like this. Super beautiful and I will say it was kind of difficult for me to hold the palette up and try to show you guys the shades because the mirror doesn't fold all the way back because it is a dual sided palette. So I'm just going to be telling you guys what shades I'm using. So right here I'm going in with the shade Fun and Games and I'm going to add this to the inner portion of my eye and then on the outer portion of the crease I'm gonna go into the shade called let's play which is a super deep purple now I did take the pink a little bit less than halfway um, just because I wanted the inner part of the eye to have that more pink look and not so much purple and then I did take a fluffy brush which I will go ahead and leave all the brush names on the screen like I did in my last video I know you guys found that super helpful so I'll do it today's video as well and then I just went in with the purple now once I was done with building up the intensity I went ahead and just blended it out with a little bit more of the shade fun and games until I was happy with the blend and that was it so I did cut my crease off camera and for the outer corner I did go back into the shade let's play just to add to the outer corner of course to just incorporate that purple so everything meshes really well and then I also went back into the shade fun and games but I did mix it with a little bit of the shade rule breaker which is another beautiful pink and then of course it's the fun part we get to move on to the opposite side of the palette so I'm going in with the orange as you guys could see that shade is called can't compete and then I'm also going to mix the shades piece of me and stalemate and I'm to use that right after the orange now you guys can see here I'm going in with a fluffy brush because I'm just trying to place them down if that makes sense and then I'm going to intensify them once I know exactly where everything is going and then I also went in with the shade King Slayer on the inner part of the eye which looks white but it's not it's like a super pale pastel green so now that I know the placement of everything now I can go in with the flat brush so I'm taking a flat shadow brush this is gonna really pack on the color for you so at this point you're just trying to intensify it and also I'm going back in with each shade over top of one another on the edges to make sure everything kind of just blends seamlessly into one another if that makes sense so that's what I'm doing here this does take a little bit of time but definitely take your time because if you have a nice seamless blend on the lid it's just gonna look so beautiful so after I did that I did go in and kind of just create a liner now I did use a black eyeliner so because of that it did look really harsh on the outer corner so this palette does not have a black eyeshadow so I'm jumping into the makeup by Mario master mattes palette and I'm gonna take that black eyeshadow and just pack it on to where that eyeliner ends on the outer corner and and basically just make it look like as if the liner is diffused into the shadow and because I did that you guys can see the outer corner got super super intense so you just want to go back in with some more of that purple really round out that edge and also go back in with the pink as well just to make sure everything looks really nice and blended keep in mind when you put on the lashes everything is gonna look really nice and put together so don't work too hard so that's basically it for the eyes I did my lashes off camera so let's go ahead and move on to the face makeup I went in with this RMS Beauty. This is called their Re-Evolve Radiant Stocking Primer. It was nice. It did give my skin a really nice radiant glow and it was very thin. I did enjoy it for using it for the first time. And then for foundation, I'm going in with the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This one that I'm using is in the shade Barcelona. Super beautiful, full coverage foundation. I'm obsessed. It's so good. And it's actually really thin in consistency, especially for NARS. So I have been loving this foundation. This is probably my third or fourth time using it and it looks really beautiful on the skin. For cream bronzer, I wanted to try out the new Rare Beauty bronzing stick I am using mine in the shade happy soul I do feel like I need a little bit of a deeper shade so the next time I'm in Sephora I'm probably just gonna pick up the next shade up because it was nice you guys can obviously see it it did give me that really beautiful sunkiss bronze but I don't know I just feel like it could be a little deeper I did build it up quite a bit to get to this color 
However, the formula was absolutely phenomenal and it blended so well. This is such a great cream bronzer. For concealer, I wanted to try out the new KVD Good Apple Concealer. I did pick up three shades when it dropped because you guys know I'm horrible at picking shades. So this is going to be the perfect example of that. So this is what the packaging looks like. Here's what the applicator looks like. This first shade right here is shade number 111, which as you guys can see, it's way too light. This second swatch here is is the shade 119 which is also too light and then the last shade is medium 126 so obviously I ended up going in with shade 126 which matched me pretty well it gave me the perfect amount of brightness that I usually go for with my concealer now let's talk about the formula the formula is amazing it's a very thin formula and I'm not used to thin feeling concealers having such great coverage this was like super super full coverage it got a little bit cakey underneath my eyes where my I have like my creases and I feel like I don't know if it was the powder I don't know if it was the fact that I was using a new sponge so I'm gonna try it a few more times and get back to you guys but the coverage was amazing it blended really really well and it looked really beautiful so I did decide to go in and just set it in place with my usual powder. I'm going to be going in with the Collab Set the Stage Powder. As always, everything will be down below in the description box as far as what I'm wearing on my face and everything you guys see me use in today's video. So I went ahead and set my under eyes and basically everywhere I apply concealer, I use this powder to set. And then I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder in the shade Medium. Now I didn't show these products because I use them all the time, so it was a little repetitive, but again, everything is always down below for bronzer I went in with the Mac mineralized skin finish bronzer in the shade dark tan you guys know I love this bronzer it is so so good if you have not tried it you need to because it is amazing I think you'll really enjoy it so I went in and basically set my entire face and completely forgot that I wanted to go in with another new product so I was like you know what should I do it should I not do it and then I was like let's just go for it so I decided to still go in with the brand new Danessa Myricks. This is called the Dewy Cheek and Lip Palette. This specific one is the Do It Flirty and you guys how gorgeous is this palette. It is so beautiful. So I went in with two shades. I did mix the shades Sweet Cheeks and XOXO and I applied it with this Morphe brush which the brush name will be on the screen and it did not move my powder. Okay this is like a super emollient type of product and I thought my foundation was just going to get ruined and it didn't it is so beautiful I didn't even set it with any type of powder this is just the Danessa Myricks palette it is gorgeous clearly you guys know I go crazy with the blush and I could not put the brush down because I just couldn't believe that this cream product looks so good so that's what I applied to the face now let's go ahead and finish up the eyes so of course I did one eye off camera it's all completed I'm obsessed so beautiful so let's do the same thing on the opposite side so a lot of the times I'll do an eye makeup look and actually once my face is done I'll feel like okay well I want it a little bit more blown out so this is the way I like to do it so I like to take this fluffy brush right here and I went back in with the shade rule breaker which is a little bit lighter than the fun and game shade that we use which is a little bit of a darker pink and I used that fluffy brush to go ahead and start to diffuse the pink and then I was like wait let me do the lower lash line first so that way we can make sure everything connects really well so I first went into the purple shade called let's play and then because I wanted some intensity on the lower lash line I did go back into the black eyeshadow from the makeup by Mario palette and just pack that onto the lower lash line and then I am going to go ahead and go in with a little bit of the pink of course to make everything look really nice and put together and for that I'm going in with the shade fun and games super beautiful pink shade and then I just made sure that everything looked really nice and put together and then for my waterline I went in with the LA girl neon shockwave liner and screaming but then I went over top with this white eyeliner from makeup forever because I wanted more of like a pastel yellow rather than like a super bright neon yellow so just a little tip there if you mix a little bit of white liner over top it'll give you that really nice pastel kind of color so then I went back in with the purple which is the shade let's play and I just made sure everything looked really nice and blended and then I took a clean brush just to clean up that blend on the outer corner because if you keep adding more pink or if you keep using the brush that you 
you were using to add the pink it's just gonna take it further and further out which is not an issue at all if you really wanted to really blow this out and take it all the way out to your temples you absolutely can but that wasn't the look I was going for today so I did take a clean brush just to clean it up so now I decided to add some rhinestones of course so I'm gonna show you guys how I did the inner parts of the eye with the rhinestones so I purchased these rhinestones off of Amazon I will go ahead and leave the link down below if you guys are interested it bring a whole bunch in a little container and I love them so much and they were also super affordable so I think you guys will really enjoy them so that is the inner portion of the eye and then I went ahead and did the outer portion off camera just because it was giving me a hard time I had a little bit of trouble with my rhinestones in today's video but now we're gonna go ahead and add the highlight I'm gonna go in with the be perfect highlighter in hollow glaze I believe it's a beautiful purple highlight it has a really nice pink shift to it so I went ahead and added the highlights and that was basically it that completed today's look I really hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys love this look as much as I do it's super colorful super fun and super for me so of course as always thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys